It's been a little bit. I know. Um, Gamescom has been going on. Uh, they had the opening night yesterday. And then today they had the Future Games 2022. So I'm going to do my highlights of both events. I'm Auckland. If you enjoy my content, please hit the subscribe button. Like button also. Share with your friends if you don't mind. Also, please comment. Ask me a question or comment in general. I'll do my best to answer them. Also, if you don't mind, hit the notification bell down below and you will be notified when I go live or upload another video. If you want to become a fan of me, Auckland, then subscribe to the channel and you will become a fan. I hope so. Alright, like I said, these are my highlights. The games that I am excited about or am interested in. If you want to watch all the other games, then I highly recommend going to YouTube where you hopefully are watching this at. And go to Gamescom on the IGN uh, Games channel or IGN channel or somewhere like that. I'm sure you'll be able to find Gamescom 2022, the future of games, and be able to watch them. Alright, first one is Dune Awakening. Uh, I don't know if I'm excited about it or not, but it looked amazing from the from the cinematics that was showed off. It's a MMO. I had to ask my friend the other day, it's like, what is an MMO game? And he told me what it was, but I cannot remember exactly what he said, uh, other than the fact that it's going to be an online game. Uh, so, I don't know how I feel about Dune, Dune Awakening, but for right now, it looked amazing from the cinematics, but we didn't get to see no gameplay. Uh, it's coming out for PS5, Xbox Series X, and S, and so yeah, I need to see some gameplay before I really decide. Uh, but I like the Dune film that came out, I think it was last year, and part two, I think, is coming out this year or next year, I can't remember. I'm looking forward to that. Alright, next is the uh, Callisto Protocol game. It is created by the creators of Dead Space. So, if you ever play Dead Space, then you know what you're getting into when you play this game. It's a horror game. Very, very gory. If you've ever seen any gameplay on the Callisto Protocol, oof, it's Gory. Yes. Uh, it's coming out to PS5, Xbox Series X and S, and it's going to be released on December 2nd of this year. Looks great. Very scary. And I'm so looking forward to it. Next is do you remember a game that got released about, I don't know, was it about 8 or 10 years ago? Uh, it was called Lords of the Fallen. Well, this is supposedly the sequel. Do you, th you would have thought maybe it would have had a 2 in the title, or maybe even a subtitle. No. The Lords of the Fallen. Yeah. That's the title for the sequel. Okay, dokie. Uh, for PS5 and Xbox Series X, uh, I've never played the first one before. Um, I know I've seen gameplay on the first one. Uh, I thought about playing it someday, just didn't know when. It looks really good, and you can expect this sequel to be the same thing. Except on <clears throat> current-gen consoles. So, it's going to look really good. Next is a game I was not expecting to be there. And this show was, of course, was hosted by Jeff Keighley. I don't know why I didn't say that, but I said it now. But this game, I was not expecting to be there because it, it got delayed. Hogwarts Legacy. Uh, they showed off some gameplay for it. And, of course, I talked about it already. That the game is being due, delayed until February 10th, 2023. So, the gameplay that showed off was you you have the choice of being good or evil. And they showed off the evil uh, portion of the game. Uh, so, you get have the choice of learning the the three unforgettable curses from the Harry Potter universe and all that stuff. And it looks like it's going to be really fun. I'm um, looking forward to the game. Hopefully it won't get delayed anymore, but 
they say a delayed game will eventually be a better game. So, we'll see. I hope so. Next game is getting a lot of hate. I'm really looking forward to it. We got so much hate that people were asking the creators to delay this game because of the hate was so bad. And the creators said, nope, we're not delaying it. Sonic Frontiers. Uh, we got a new trailer. We uh, also got a release date for it as well. And the release date is November 8th, 2022. Uh, I'm really, really looking forward to it. And now, it's not open world. It's open zone. And there's five zones in the game. And they're all opened up. So it might as well be an open world game. But it's not. But anywho. But I'm excited about it. Uh, it's been confirmed from the trailer that Amy's going to be in the game as well. And I would imagine some of the other characters are also going to be in the game as well. They're like trapped and you have to save them. And yeah, it looks so good. For PS4, uh, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S, and also Switch and PC as well. Alright, next game is a darker, different take on the Pinocchio that we know. The game is called Lies of P. Mm. Well, you know how if Pinocchio tells a lie, you know what happens, right? His nose. Yeah. The lies of P. I guess the P stands for Pinocchio, so it's just P. That'll be my guess. Uh, but the game looks really good. Uh, it looks like you are playing as Pinocchio, but he looks like a different different Pinocchio we've ever seen before. He looks straight up human and part of his arm uh, looked like it was robotic and he has a bunch of mechanics that he can do with it. It actually looks really good. It's It looks like a action adventure game. It kind of gave me some Assassin's Creed vibes just a little bit by the way that it looked. But I don't know if it's going to be stealthy or not. But it looked really, really good. So, I'm really looking forward to playing the Lies of P uh, for PS4, PS5, Xbox Series X and S, and PC in 2023. Very interesting. Before I move on to the next part, uh, it looks like, uh, you know, like, like, um, like the game Alice Madness. Yeah, I feel like if it wasn't for that game, the lives of P wouldn't have happened, so that'll be my opinion. If you know about Alice Madness, then you know what I'm talking about. Alright, next is Atlas Fallen. Um, the game looked incredible. I can't remember exactly how it looked, but it's coming out in 2023 for PS5, Xbox Series X and S, and PC. I wish I could remember what it looked like, so I can tell you more detail as best as I can. Next game is Gotham Knights. They showed off some gameplay for it. I wasn't sure if I was excited for this game, if I wanted to play it or not, but I believe I do now. Uh, take This game takes place after Batman Arkham Knight. If you ever play that game, you saw how the game ended, then you know why. There's different heroes in this game rising up to protect Gotham, like Robin and Batgirl and all the other ones that you saw in the gameplay for Gotham Knights. That's all I'm going to say. I don't want to spoil Batman Arkham Knight for people who haven't played it. The game will be released October 21st of this year. For PS5, Xbox Series X and S, and PC, now, at first, they were going to release this for PS4 and Xbox One, but they decided, nope, we're going to cancel the last-gen stuff, and we're going to focus on current-gen, which is next-gen graphics for PS5 and Xbox Series X. So, you can expect that for a lot of games now. Next is Where Winds Meet. As in wind, you know, like wind outside. Well, both an S. Where winds meet. 
interesting title. Now, it's a Samurai Warrior style game. So you play as a Samurai Warrior set in Japan, or I would imagine that's where it's set in. Uh, it kind of uh, is like, um, what was that other game? Ghost of Tsushima? It kind of reminds me of that style. We didn't get much for it. We didn't get no release date. We didn't get no platforms or anything. But the way that it looks, it looks like it's going to be available on PS5 and Xbox Series X and PC. That's what it looks like from the way that, that the game looked. Next is a hack and slash game called Phantom... The Opposite of Heaven Cat. So yeah. Phantom Hellcat. The game is coming soon. Did not get a release date. But it's coming out for PS4, 5, PS4, and Xbox Series X and S, Xbox One, and PC. And I really like hack and slash, slash games sometimes. They're not my favorites, but this one looks really, really good. So I'm really looking forward to it. Next is a game that we have not got any, inf any information on for probably five or six years of my knowledge. It's been a long time. Since we've seen anything on this game. Dead Island 2. They showed off a new trailer. And gameplay. And the game is going to be released. February 3rd. 2023. For PS5. Xbox 4. Xbox 4. <laughs> PS5. PS4. Xbox Series X and S. Xbox One and PC. Xbox Four. Lord have mercy. Alright. That was the end of the Gamescom opening night. And now this is the start of Future Games 2022. Alright. This uh, event was hosted by Kratos himself. And... The Witch of the Woods. Uh, they're two characters that are in the latest God of War games. Of course, Kratos is, of course. Alright, so they were hosting throughout the entire event. And they did the commentary. And you got to see them on camera and stuff. And it was pretty cool. Alright, Aliens Fireteam Elite Pathogen. I think it's some kind of expansion. Because I think Aliens Fire... Fireteam Elite. I think it's already been released. So this is an expansion. It's going to be released on August 30th, 2022 for PS5, Xbox Series X and S, and PC. And it looks really good. So if you're an Alien fan and you want a good Alien game, because I know there's some Alien games out there in the past that have not been good at all, this one looks good. Alright, next is a Metroid Mania style game. Uh, the Last Case of Benedict Fox. I've talked about this game before in a past video. Uh, so it's a side-scroller. You have to go back and forth to solve puzzles and to continue forward. That's what a Metro Mania style game is. It's coming out spring 2023 for Xbox Series X and S and PC. And it looks really good. Uh, he had like these, not necessarily powers, but he can go to a, Benedict Fox, I guess the name of the character, I guess, you can go to a store in the game, and you can buy, like, these items, and can use those items to fight off enemies and stuff, like, you have magical powers, but you technically don't, you had some kind of knife, or a dagger, I don't think it was a sword, and you was taking out enemies like that, it looked very horror-like for the last case of Benedict Fox, so it looked really good. Next is another horror game, The Chant. It's coming out November 3rd, 2022, and it's a third-person horror game for PS5, Xbox Series X, and S, and PC. And it's, and it's not like your typical horror game. You do fight off enemies, but you're using, like, items. Uh, like, uh, sage and other items like that that you protect yourself from ghosts and evil spirits and stuff like that. So you're using items like that to fight off the demons and the ghosts in the game. And it looks really good. 
Next is a stealth game. Uh, part of the title I cannot pronounce, so I'm going to spell this part out. Is E R E B A N. And then the next part of the title is Shadow Legacy. Now, there's a game that has the same art style as this game. It looks like it plays the same way as well, but a little bit different. Uh, it's or Origami. Uh, you know what game I'm talking about, probably. It's this stealth game called Origami that came out with a sequel to. You play as this character, you hide in the shadows. You can either stealth through the entire game, or you can stealth and take out your enemies. Well, this game looks very similar to that. But, you can literally turn into a shadow and go up the side of buildings, go up the side of walls, then go from turning into a shadow back into your, I guess you can say your human self or the character that you're playing as in the game, simultaneously go from a shadow back into your normal self or back from your person self, however you want to say it, and back into a shadow to hide from your enemies and go up behind them and take them out if you want to. Looks well, pretty cool. It's coming out uh, 2023, if I hadn't said that already, for Xbox Series X and S and PC. If I said that twice, I'm sorry. Next is Sol Solstice. It's coming out September 20th, 2022, for PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S and PC. Um... I can't remember if gameplay was showed off or not, but from the cinematic stuff, there might have been some gameplay in the cinematics, uh, but it looked like it would be interesting. Uh, yeah, I wish I could say some more, but anywho. Next is another game I can't really pronounce, uh, but it looks like After I Mage. It's A-T, uh, it's F, I can't, I can't read. A F T E R I M A G E. It's all one word. After I Mage? I don't know. Coming out for PS4 and PS5, Xbox Series X and S, Xbox One, Switch, and PC. And it's a Metroid. Metroid Mania style game. It's going to be released this winter. So, a lot of Metroid style games here. And there's nothing wrong with a Metroid Mania style game. As long as it's done right. Alright, next is a action adventure space game is what I'm calling it. You play as this girl, she goes into space. It's got some action adventure mechanics in the game as well. Uh, it's called Deliver Us Mars. It looks pretty good. February 2nd, 2023. For PS5, PS4, Xbox Series X and S, Xbox One, and PC. Alright, next is The Night Witch. It's going to be released Fall 2022. For Switch, PS4, PS5, Xbox Series X and S, and PC. It looked like a side-scroller, but I can't be completely 100%. Because you did go from left to right. And you can also go up and down, so it might technically be a side scroller, but it looked like it was an indie title because it's got that style of graphics for an indie title. You play as a witch, you were flying around. It looks good, it looks fun to me. Alright, next is a Dark Souls like game. Another game I cannot pronounce is T H Y M E S I A. I'm not even going to try to say that. The game is out now. I never heard of it before. It's for Switch, PS5, Xbox Series X and S, and PC. And like I said, it's Dark Souls-like. So that's what it looks like. You ever played Dark Souls? Then you know what to expect. Next is a side-scroller. Another game I can't pronounce. And this is a sequel. It looks like it's T-E-S-L-A-N. G R A G R A D two. Kinda looks like uh, the setting of it is Viking style, but you play as this uh, girl, 
and she has powers. It kind of reminds me of Ori in the Blind Forest and Ori in the Will of Wisp. It's got that same art style. It kind of looks like it's got the same gameplay as well. It looked really good. I just can't pronounce it, and I didn't even know this even had a first one, so that's pretty cool for it to have a sequel. PS5, PS4, Xbox Series X and S, Switch, and PC. Next, are you a fan of the Dark Pictures and Anthology games? Because if you are, the third one's coming out. The Devil in Me. Not me. No, 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 no. That's what the title of the game is. The Dark Pictures and Anthology, The Devil in Me. Boy, this game looked creepy. It reminded me of Saul. That these characters go into traps and stuff. And how these games play is... Uh, they're focused on choices. And also... Because uh, there's words will pop up on the screen. And you have, to, you have to pick your answer. And your choices have consequences. They're very, very story-driven games. Like Until Dawn. Until Dawn started all this. Uh, and I heard Until Dawn, Until Dawn is a loved game. I've never got a chance to play it. I never played any of the Dark Pictures games, but I'm thinking about it. So the next one's coming out November 18th, 2022. For Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S, PS5, PS4, and PC. Next is the Layers of Fear. Now, I believe we've gotten a Layers of Fear game for Switch because I saw it on Amazon uh, for a physical copy that you can import it. But it looks like this might be a reboot, I guess, coming out for current-gen consoles like PS5, Xbox Series X and S, and PC. So it's a horror game, first-person horror, and early 2023 for Layers of Fear. And I believe that was the end. That's all my notes. Um, I thought it was pretty good. Um, like I said, if you want to see all the games there at both of these events, I highly recommend go looking them up. Uh, I just only picked out the ones that I am interested in or I might even think about playing. So I hope you enjoyed my highlights for Gamescom and uh, games future games 2022 all right hope you enjoyed it thank you so much all right bye